Hello, this is a Tsushi and this is the Sashiko live streaming in English. Whew. It's it's really rare time to do the live streaming. I usually do the live streaming in the morning on Tuesday and Friday at like nine o'clock, ten o'clock Eastern time. Um recently I have not done any live streaming in English, either on YouTube or Instagram. So I just want to try to do this English live streaming in ah I'm sorry Sashiko streaming Sashiko live streaming in English. All right, but the, everything is the same. Everything is the same. I will do the Sashiko stitching. I will talk about Sashiko. I will. I might answer some questions if this question is kind of relevant. So I will just talk. We'll make a speech in English. Okay. And I probably will talk about animism. Animism? Animism. Animism? Animism. <laughs> um, the Japanese concept of the spirit a little bit today. So if you are interest, interest, interested in that, that would be good to hang out. Even if not, please stick with that. I do have the... I, I think I can read the comments as well, so if you have any questions. Uh, preferably not about technique. Um, the technique, I really explained that already on YouTube, so please check the YouTube. And This is not a teaching opportunity it's more like me stitching opportunity so I will answer any kind of a question if that doesn't require the as long as it doesn't require me to stop talking I mean stop stitching I will answer the questions as well all right where is my stuff how much did I stitch It's been a long time, like I don't remember the last time I did the Sashiko live streaming in English on the Instagram. Last year, until the end of the last year, I was using the iPhone 5S, 5S, I know, 5S, to do the Instagram live streaming and it was quite bad. It was really bad actually. The live streaming stops and I couldn't upload the f data. And it was bad. It was really bad. And I changed it to the... I upgraded to the Google Pixel 3a. That's another reason I'm doing it. I can do the live streaming on Instagram. But... I usually do the live streaming speaking in Japanese only because I feel much, 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 much comfortable in speaking Japanese and I can stitch simultaneously. English, ooh, I have to practice a little more to speak and to stitch simultaneously. But I think I can do better as long as I can talk whatever I want. Whew, it's a bit challenging. But at the same time, your question your concerns are very helpful to what can I say to continue to help me to continue talking I do have a topic today about spirituality um, but your question is again I'm sorry but not the technique because if I allow that technique question there will be like you know one lecture of how to stitch Thank you for speaking English for us who don't. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming. I always want to try to speak English as well as... I mean, I want to do that in English, but... How can I do that? Um, my mind is always here in my brain when I speak in English. I have to think. I really have to think before I speak because it is my second language. 
when I talk in Japanese, I really don't have to think about anything. So there's no filter filtering. I am stitching and talking, and that's kind of a relaxation for me. So I don't do the live streaming for... I don't have any purpose to do the live streaming. It's more like my hobby or my relaxation technique. So that's why I kind of choose. I kind of choose. I, I kind of choose. I happen to choose to speak in Japanese. So I try to my I try my best to do both. This is my resolution in 2020 that I will do more live streaming. Preferably, I will probably show my face sometime, somehow, when I figure out how to do it. I don't know if I can do it on Instagram, but I might do that on YouTube. Regardless, I decided to not to offer so many workshops in 2020. I will do less workshops. Instead, I will do more live streaming or sharing over the videos. Um, always, always online workshop is available, but at the same time, you know, not many people want to just learn the technique. Well, I want you to, I want you to learn the technique, but at the same time, I would like to share and talk about small things as well. So, I will talk about the spirituality, spiri, spiri, <laughs> animism. Am I saying right? Anim animism? I always get confused with this. Let me write it down. Hey. Animism. I will talk about this a little bit today. Nothing scary, nothing, nothing spooky, nothing superstitious it's just about how japanese people think and actually thought about the spirit which is like same as i don't want to talk about religion but it is kind of similar to that idea what to believe in uh, understanding the concept of animism is quite important to understand what the sashiko is uh, sashiko got really really popular last year few years ago, I guess. Um, it got really, really popular for many reasons, but the one significant reason is that Sashiko as the recycling or upcycling, repurposing the fabric or fashion or things, right? And it is very true. It is very true statement that Sashiko is about the hand stitching to make fabric stronger, to recycle the fabric, and to upcycle the fabric. So it is very much true, and I'm not gonna deny that, but at the same time, understanding the Japanese animism is also quite important to understand the whole point of why recycling, why upcycling, what is Sashiko and what is. Well, for that matter, borrow. Um, if you follow me long enough, you probably know the difference between borrow and sashiko. Uh, I usually share the quite clear definition, my version of the definition. Sashiko is a form of stitching that I'm doing right now, and borrow, borrow is the result, result, ultimate result of this continuous hand stitching, so-called sashiko. So there's no such a thing as borrow technique or borrow stitching. It's just the borrow as the term of the result of sashiko stitching. And the sashiko stitching itself is just the Japanese term of hand stitching. So I would like to talk about the spirituality, not a spirituality, animism a little bit later on. Translation is very difficult. Trans translating too long? No, sorry. Understanding a concept in the different language is very, very, very difficult. Um, I speak both English and Japanese, and I moved to the U.S. I have a daughter who has actually four cultures together. Hopefully, 
not gonna happen, but not likely. But she has four languages as well if she wants to study. But language carries a lot of cultural perspective. So translating A to B is like from, from A as the word to word. A to B is good enough to have a superficial conversation, like, you know, sh not that important communication. It is good. It is good to have the translator, Google translation, Facebook translation. Everything is good. However, in order to learn the deeper perspective of one culture, sometimes translating the word, the verb, the sentence itself is not quite good enough. Well, not good. Not enough. Enough. Just not amount-wise. <laughs> it is a funny saying, but the Zen, the Japanese Zen, Zen, Zen practice, um, people say that the core practice, core mindset, core philosophy of Zen is that we understand the words, words, verbal word that I'm speaking cannot express everything. It is not enough. It's called Furyumonji. Furyumonji. Probably I am getting right, but so it's simply saying that the word or sentence is not enough to understand what Zen is. Um, the practitioner has to start from that. It is not enough. So that's why they have to practice Zen to ex experience or understand what Zen is. Um, that comes to Sashiko as well a little bit. That's why we want to talk as well as I want to encourage people to stitch because when they stitch, I think more message can be delivered rather than me talking 100 hours. I think just stitching for 10 hours is better than listening or like learning, learning or translating some documents for 100 hours. <sighs> so... I would like to talk about animism. I sorry, I wanted to talk about this. So when I had a store, when I had a business in Japan, many people come to our place. I mean, my city is quite my city was is the city I was living was quite popular, quite popular for tourism. So many people came to our city and you know, many people came to our store. They those people who know about Sashiko enjoy the store itself. At the same time, many people do not know about what Sashiko is, right? So there are many people who came to our store and then the translator or those tour guides talk about what is Sashiko. And if they are Japanese, that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine because some of them are already some of them know already what Sashiko is, but <laughs> some like a foreign translator who just studied Japanese as a linguistic perspective, I think. So Sashiko is like this, right? Sashiko. In Japanese, Sashiko is like this. And this means stub or stitch. And this means like a child or small. So it's Sashiko literally means uh, small stitches. At the same time, for those who study Japanese as the academic or linguistic or who doesn't know this word, they can guess what doesn't mean what it means by just reading the Japanese character. <laughs> so there was a one tour guide explaining what Sashiko in front of our store to the group of people that it is stabbing child. This store is about stabbing child. No, 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 no. It is not our 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 store is not about stabbing child. It does mean actually stabbing child. <laughs> so that's kind of a joke, which is scary because it was actually true. But that's what I wanted to tell you that the sometimes word, sometimes the information in our brain, knowledge is not good enough, it's not much enough to understand the core. So it is my privilege to <laughs> share my understanding, wisdom of Sashiko as the Japanese native who speak, who happen to speak English, thanks to a lot of drinking in my college. 
but yeah, uh, please, please do not understand Sashiko as a stopping child because I don't. I have a daughter of five. I, you know, I'm a daughter. I'm a father of five years old daughter, and if I am professional in stopping child, I don't think I can continue this live streaming. So please do not get that wrong. Sashiko is not about stopping child. It is so difficult. I mean. It comes to English too. It, it comes to the English as well. English is a very difficult language, so I am not gonna, you know, say which is easier, which is more difficult. English is also confusing. I guess Russians is also confusing. Hebrew is also very confusing. Spanish is also confusing. Every language is confusing. Besides the language we speak when we are drinking. Stopping child. I think I. I don't know. I, I was so shocked that I was. <laughs> and everybody. Well, not many people. Like that group was. That group did not really pay attention to what he was saying. At the same time, they really didn't care about what Sashiko was. So I didn't even dare to stop them and explain more. But. <laughs> I don't know why they use this word though. This means literally a child, so it can be a stopping child too. So there we go. Where am I? Where am I? Where was I? So animism, animism, animism in the Sashiko. It is. Sashiko is. It is indeed about recycling the fabric, making fabric stronger, to appreciate the fabric. Yes, stabbing a child. Don't, don't do that. I mean, seriously. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. I don't want to get banned. I don't want to get. I don't want this account to be banned, so. <laughs> Let's be careful. So Sashiko is re like indeed it is indeed about the culture of recycling, upcycling the fabric, um, making the fabric stronger with stitching. Uh, as a summary, as the as the summary of Sashiko, it is about appreciating the fabric, appreciating the fabric to the extent of becoming completely tattered fabric. Um, do you always make sashiko from the backside? Yes, I do. I do make a sashiko stitching from the back fabric. And I think I do explain, I did explain that why on the YouTube, if you could take a look at it. If I have not, I am confusing with the information in Japanese. So I will translate that and I will make it a video about it. But there are few several reasons that we stitch from the backside of the fabric. Um, not only from the technical perspective, but also from the little bit of cultural, not a cultural, the philosophical perspective, what they believed. Oh, I'm sorry that I cannot speak the Spanish. I think that is Spanish. One day, oh, I, I, re I receive a lot of requests to translate what I'm saying to Spanish or Portuguese. Uh, I don't have that much funds yet, so let's see. Let's see what I can do in the future. So, it is indeed about the recycling the fabric and appreciating the, what we have, the fabric itself. But at the same time, it's not because of the environment, or it's not because of how cool the recycling is. It's not about the minimalism, it's not about sparkling joy to clean like decluttering that's not the core that might be part of the recycling or upcycling but that's not the core of concept of sashiko as the recycling so what is it what is the concept of sashiko, like um, sashiko as the recycling or upcycling is that they believed i also believe that everything has the spirit in it like the denim I'm stitching right now has its own spirit and that spirit exists everything we use this thimble, this needle, this fabric, this thread 
So, well, one result of that belief or philosophy is the ceremony of needle, which I explained a month ago, about a month ago, and it, it is coming next month as well. But we serve, we stick, we put the needle into something really soft, like tofu or. The tofu is the good example, but we make the needle rest, broken needle forever, and then we bury that so that it's gonna be rest in peace. That's how we, like the spirit in the needle, will rest in peace after the job, after the life as needle. I know this sounds really, really creepy if you think about the. <laughs> belief, but that's how Japanese naturally felt, believed about the spirit. Everything, every single item has a sort of a spirit in it, and therefore we appreciate the item itself. So that is the kind of like a deep, deep, deep understanding of sashiko as a recycling. It will help the environment, it will help the... Um, it won't pollute the environment as much as the other uh, you know, mass produce and mass consumption fabric. But at the same time, we just simply believe that there is more than the materials in... There is more than... There is something more than materials in the fabric or needles or so that leaves kind of interesting story people ask me like do you want to have a borrow and I said nye, 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 nye. so borrow is again the piece of completely like ultimate repetition of stitching hand stitching and there are a lot of boros available in the antique market. Uh, some of them are very good and some of them are very you know, expensive now. Sometimes people ask me like, do you, do, you, do I want to get boro? Do, do My answer is yes and no. The reason I'm say that I say that is sometimes boro is too strong, too strong for me to own it. Um, strong is the kind of like a message or spirit that I kind of feel in the fabric of borrow. It's not about something that I, it's not, I'm not talking about like supernatural power. It's more like the stories that you can feel from the fabric. And it's not about only, it's not only about Japanese culture. I think if you see some like very old vintage fabric or patchwork quilting, you see the stories there. And sometimes it's too much to carry to the heart somewhere I feel very easy so it same thing happens to sashiko as well for example if I spend let's say hundred hundred of hours thousands of hours in one tiny I'm sorry one piece of one project if I add so much time and energy and communication into the fabric that fabric becomes like part of me it shares my mindset or well, I, I don't know how to say that but it, it'll be like a part of me that will be quite strong sometimes too strong for somebody else to own that sometimes it is probably I sometimes I feel like it's impossible for me to stitch add stitching to some like antique borrow because it's so strong in that case well, it's not, you know, it, it happens quite a lot. When we go to the vintage market, when we get a good vintage fabric, it requires some washing. Washing the fabric is also important to kind of release that spirit. I don't want to keep saying spirit, but it's something away. And I always use the new thread when I do that kind of project. New, new needle, new thread and new 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 not new thimble but new thread new needles to kind of add my taste so when i read the 
um, some like article online, people understand boro and sashiko as the recycling. It is perfectly fine. I'm not gonna say it's wrong. It is perfectly fine, but some, you know, some people understand that boro and sashiko is the ultimate way to recycle what we have. It is. But I want you to think what is the focus on that project? If the focus, if the main stage is the fabric, I want you to use the new thread because if I use the kind of old used thread, I will have the two stories there. Fabric has one story already, and also thread has one history already. So mixing two stories is kind of risky, challenging to me. So when I stitch something from somebody, I usually and most likely use the new thread so that I will add something fresh instead of something which already have a story. So does it make sense? I sometimes do the fresh fabric with a fresh thread. That's another good combination to start something new. But there's no sci scientific background or proof that I'm to what I'm talking about. But that's probably how Japanese people thought about the fabric. So the fabric was more important by thread back then. Many people kept the fabric and thread was the merry tool or supply to keep the fabric together. Uh, they didn't have like a sashiko thread threads, it was just a thread. But we do have a choice in this world, so I f prefer to use this thread. I mean, new thread doesn't have to be like new, 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 new. It can't just, you know, thread that I did not use, like... How can I say that? Using whatever doesn't really suit to me. When I read that comment or discussion, it just doesn't suit me. It doesn't come natural to me. I'm not saying it's wrong. It is right. It is, it is good to use whatever they have. I mean, I'm not asking... I'm not saying that everybody use the whatever they have is not going to be qualified for Sariko. I'm not saying that, but at the same time, I just like to share that it doesn't come natural to me. <laughs> I am talking so much. Just a second, okay? I want to read the comments. Thank you so much for the comment. Thank you for sharing your thoughts on Boro. You're putting words on to feeling I've had but didn't understand. Owning Boro would feel like a great response. <laughs> If you could feel that, yes, that's a <laughs> um, you may surprise, you may surprise, but I don't own any borrow from the vintage market. I do not. I do, don't. I, I have a lot of borrow, but that's made by us. Either Keiko, my mother, or I made the borrow from the vintage market. Not a market, vintage frag, meh, swatches. There are a lot of fabric that couldn't be even Boro. Boro is like, uh, now Boro is the piece of art, but there are a lot of fabric that couldn't even be a Boro piece. <laughs> something, something happened upstairs. Hmm. Probably the cat. If you have a borrow piece that you might feel like borrow has a story in it, then you might feel the responsibility as well. And that's a good thing. I really respect that. Thank you so much for feeling the responsibility. And that'd be great if you could add your story into the borrow, which I still am not experienced enough to do that. Well, I sometimes, of course, I sometimes get those borrows in my stock or in my collection. And I kind of tend to sell them more aggressively than the other borrow I have from... <laughs> the borrow I make, uh, I, I am, of course, selling those online as our collection because we have to make a living out of it. But at the same time, I would like to keep it if I can. <laughs> it's a really contradiction. I know it's a really big contradiction, but... It's a, probably attachment issue. So 
I feel more attachment to what I make rather than what I get from the vintage market. At the same time, um, if everybody feels that there's a story for each boro, I think the boro will, the culture of sashiko and boro will re pass down to the next generation. That's a very, very, very honorable thing. So, it is more than a fabric. It is just a piece of fabric. It's the piece of fabric which is not usable. But at the same time, if we could understand that Boro, or it doesn't have to be Boro. Like, we use the name Boro for those pieces which doesn't have any name, but at the same time, it doesn't have to be Japanese, right? can be any any kind of culture sh has had probably had those vintage fabric and it doesn't have to be Japanese but it's the story the story is the key what I would like to do. we cannot get those stories unless we are very lucky when we get borrow it is kind of difficult to find the stories behind it because it's not documented but we can try to guess it right we can try to kind of guess imagine appreciate why there's a patches here why did they make this stitching we can add the story which might be different from the actual original story but that's what matter of that's what matter in sashiko stitching and that's the core message i keep saying care when we can do that we can care about everything else as well it is <laughs> I'm not making boro right now, so it doesn't really make a good sense, but that's the core of animism in Sashiko and animism in Boro. We believe that there's something in the fabric, there's some spirit in the everything we use. Needle, thread, thimble. Uh what else? Well we, we everything. And that well, people call it attachment. I call it attachment as well, and sometimes attachment is not good. So, you know, I, I'm telling you completely different thing, completely opposite thing as the other Japanese, very famous Japanese Komari is saying. What the Komari is saying is the decluttered things, you know, Cut the attachment, pick whatever you feel sparks joy and keep only the things you feel sparks joy and get rid of everything. What I'm saying is appreciate the spirit in every materials. And uh, please do not follow me like completely. Like please do not follow me as I say. Please think first because I don't wanna be accused for you being a hoarder. Hoarder, hoarder, hoarder. If I stood appreciating a piece of socks which has five holes, that's a very good way to start holding issue because I cannot throw away the fabric. I can do that because I decided to not to purchase any fabric anymore. I'm not a fabric any cloth anymore. I can rationalize what I do. <laughs> At the same time, I don't want you to do the holding issue. It, it is the materialistic world. You should buy whatever you can for the better lifestyle at the same time there's a way to do that like i'm not saying you should clutter things i am saying you should i won't not even should so one japanese komari side is saying like enjoy the spark joy and then declutter things makes life simpler make life simpler i am saying that uh, please care what you have first instead of adding something new so that you will not accumulate unnecessary stuff. It's it's kind of the same way. It's just the different, completely different outcome. But the origin is the same of what it's it's you know don't don't ugh. does it make sense? <laughs> I'm getting confused. I'm getting I'm 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 losing my logic here. But that's some people misunderstand me that it, you should not throw away anything and I've seen those people but don't, don't please throw away something it is very risky to talk about animism if I keep saying like everything has the spirit people stood not we we stood we stood cluttering, cluttering things I am one of those I cannot throw things away 
But the same time, is I don't buy, I don't get new stuff as often as I used to. So I think the key is care again. My, my, my channel is my not a channel. My account is all about caring, and caring is not the love. Please, please understand. When I say care for others, it's not love only. It's love is included. But it's not always positive. Caring is not about positive thing. It's about extra time to think. Extra moment in this busy, fast-paced society. It's very difficult, but extra step to think or be attentive or mindful, whatever it is, to care first instead of making a decision or making an action. One step, one step slower that's what i'm asking to do it love is great love is great but also hate is absolutely great way to care the others and the only things opposite of caring is the ignorance i keep saying that but that's my belief so if you start saying oh i don't care or i you start ignoring what i'm saying yet following me then that's a little problem that's something i don't want but if you don't like what I'm saying, that's also a good way to care me, care for me. <laughs> Not that I want you to hate me or something. I just want, you know, I want to be loved. But sometimes it's not about making me <laughs> happy. God, it's so difficult to stitch and talk in English. I'll keep going another 15 minutes or so and I'll stop doing it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Ah! I cannot believe I did 24 hours stitching with poking in Japanese. As you can say, I can stitch while I talk, but sometimes it's only only 30 minutes and I'm, th I'm this tired. <laughs> Phew, this is this should be this should be on the archives for 24 hours. So if you have missed the first section of live streaming please watch the archive archives archive story i guess that's what we call it uh, after 24 hours i will upload this one to the youtube as the like uh, archive art uh, archive so Oof. so much talking which is good which is good So I usually ask my students to bring their needles and thimbles for the workshop if they are rejoining our workshop. Uh, I provide everything for the first workshop that I offer, but when they try to come back, I always ask them to bring the materials that I provided. Sometimes people feel it's not convenient, conveni convenient. But at the same time, that's the kind of the care I'd like to pass down how to you know needle needle itself is not it's not a, you know expensive it's pretty in inexpensive and it is not impossible to provide every time i have a workshop but sometimes if you have it already i want you to keep using that unless this get bent or this get dull which rarely happens i usually use about 8 i don't change the needle every month so that's how good these needles are. So as of now, this is the denim. By the way, I didn't show you the whole project, but this is the denim I'm stitching. If I can do this before the quilt on 2020, that would be nice. I might be too busy to complete it. Let's see, but it's this side right now. And I'll add this line later on, and then that's going to be the completion. I don't know what I'm going to do on the other side of the... Well, it's, it's the whole stitching. You may be surprised, but I probably spent about... How many hours did I spend? Probably 10 hours. Could be less. So... As you can see... As you can see in this live stream right now, 
I don't make stitches one by one. So I don't really focus on how one stitch will look like. So Sashiko stitching is not about making one perfect stitch. It is about the movement of your f hands and needles to make a beautiful stitching as a result. So it is, it's, it, Of course it's hand stitching so it takes a long time but once you learn that core technique it's not gonna be like it's not hmm? it's not impossible to stitch this in the few not in a day but a reasonable time in a reasonable time frame have to make a little line first. Thank you, thank you. It is fun. It is fun to do this. There was a question in today's, this morning, Sashiko, live streaming in Japanese. Do I have to be kind of patient? Patient to do Sashiko stitching? And the answer is yes and no. Oops, just a second. I gotta do something. Lot of package. <laughs> As I said that I don't buy a lot of stuff, I got a lot of package, which is actually a priority mailbox, which I have to make a shipping to the uh, quilt con. So, <laughs> eh, you know, I'm not a, I'm not being completely extremist, that I'm not gonna opposite to this you know mass produce mass consumption world i hope i'm just communicating that i'm adding 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 not denying adding some idea of sashiko yeah wow i did i order this Don't you think it's so nice to have this kind of like box, priority box for free that I can make shipping? Oh, we live in such a beautiful world. Like I remember, I remember I used to purchase a boxes to make a shipping, but now it's for free. We live in such a beautiful world. I know nothing about the stitches and may sound stupid, but what are the little loops? Not. Um, that's gonna require some explanation, technical question, technical answer. So, please check our YouTube. It is the same account, sashi.co. And in the YouTube, I explain why I keep the loop. I keep saying that. Please check the YouTube. So, I to be on to be fair with everybody. Please check the. YouTube, YouTube video. I just don't want to give the impression that I choose to answer one question one day based on my mood. I could answer the question, but sometimes, since I have said that I'm not gonna answer those questions here, so it'd be great. It, it is already answered. It is already answered on the YouTube. Thank you. Thank you for understanding. Uh, long story short, it is my insurance. It is the insurance for me. The loop is an insurance. Yeah, 
we live in such a beautiful world. You know, I, I'm not extremist. I love technology. I love internet. This, you know, I cannot do the live streaming. I cannot even... I don't think I can continue sharing Sashiko if there's no internet. Pretty much all of my business happens over the internet. So, you know, I get benefit. I get tons of benefit from the internet. So please understand I'm not denying what is going on right now. I am just saying that it, we can learn. We can learn from something we kind of I don't forget we decided to not to put it as a mainstream I would say I don't know how to say that but many people stood realizing are we gonna be okay in this speed efficiency product productive oriented society might be might be okay. Like, uh, my opinion, okay? It's my opinion, so I'm not gonna. I don't wanna get involved like any discussion about it, but. For example, 5G. <laughs> There's gonna be a new frequency to connect the internet or the data. Like, after 4Z, LTE, we're gonna move to the 5G, which can be much faster than the connection we have as of today. It is wonderful to make everything so fast. It is the society's mission to make everything so fast and so efficient. Um, the time rag, lag, rag, time delay of anything is not good we have to be efficient speedy we have to be like you know we have to be like a machine we have to be like a computer if i if a to b requires five seconds we want to make it three seconds we, we want to make it instantaneously that's how society works now and that's how we make a lot of innovation by we means not me they we appreciate that. Internet is great. I live in the Pennsylvania and I can connect to anybody in the world with live streaming. That is a fantastic thing. However, do we need a 5G? I don't know. It'd be nice. It would be very nice to have faster, but at the same time, we can do it without it as of now. That's something we have to kind of choose. And I think it's before the internet, or well, like even like the first <laughs> first stage of the internet, which was super slow, like it took forever to download one picture. <laughs> there was like a dial up, if you remember. That was a good time. That was a very good time, but also now I don't want to go back there. But at the same time, do we? I don't know. We probably get a lot of benefit by faster f 5G. I am not knowledgeable enough to discuss about it, but the reason Sashiko is so getting popular is probably like a little reaction to that. Again, Sashiko is completely opposite to the efficiency, speed, productivity wise, I guess it's not that, you know, if you want to be productive, Sashiko is not a good way to do it. But if you want to be careful, mindful, then Sashiko is quite enjoyable way to do that like such speed is super important in sashiko as well i'm not encouraging anybody to stitch slower 
because if we stitch slower, that means less product, less result, and you know sometimes we get tired of it. So we want to stitch fast, and I, that's my goal as well. But at the same time, if I want to just stitch fast and fast and faster, I should use machine. There's no point of using the hand if there's nothing in between that. But there are something. Sorry. So, hey, 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 I forgot what I was talking about. Okay, <laughs> that's how. That's what happens in live stream. I will finish this much stitching, and I will do one more line of thread, and then I'll complete the live streaming for today. It is my intention to continue this live streaming in English, but usually I do the live streaming in Japanese. Tuesday and Friday morning at 9 a.m. EST, um, the Eastern Time Zone, Pennsylvania. I live in the central Pennsylvania. I live in the central Pennsylvania, so that's the time zone I live in. But at the same time, I will try. I will try to add more time, more opportunity to share this live streaming in English. Um, I don't know if it's a good time for many people, but I cannot do the live streaming at night. After 3 p.m. 3 p.m. Yes. Oops. After 3:30 p.m., I become a stay at home. Um, I become a father. Of a daughter, so I have to be a taxi driver sometimes. I have to be a chef. I have to, you know, you know, just regular father. So I cannot do at night regularly. I can sometimes do at night, but re- re- regularly it's not that good time for me. So I'll see. I'll see when when is the best time for us to do it. Your comments, your feedback would be very much appreciated too. Mm. You'll be appreciated for me to keep going. I I might be I might sound like I'm a difficult person. I am. Don't don't get me wrong. I'm not an easy person to deal with. I am a difficult person, but as long as I feel there's a respect or there's like courtesy for the Japanese culture or you know just regular basic thing, I will not get offended or I will not get upset to anything. There are a lot of people who don't do that. That's why sometimes get offended, sometimes get upset. But usually, like hello would be nice, right? Hello would be nice. Hello. Starting the question with hello, just instead of saying what is that, just hello. My name is blah blah blah. You don't even have to say could I ask you a question because my answer is yes. But again, like hello would be nice. Uh, please would be nice. I just think that's exactly what I'm teaching to my daughter. Like, Daddy, get me an a- get me an apple. Is not good. Daddy, can you please get me an apple? It's great. So that's if that's too much to ask. Well, I have to think about it again. But it is more like. The care, the care, like I know, the hello, adding a hello is slowing the conversation down. Of course, it is much more efficient to ask the question to get what you want, what they want. But I'm not a Google or Facebook to give you exactly what you want, like to opposite. No, 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 no. Don't worry about it. If I am, if I am smiling, if live streaming is completely different, live streaming is different. See, if you felt sorry right now by me hearing, don't worry about it. I'm not gonna complain face to face because I'm Japanese. I cannot do that unless, unless I um, if I say, 
If I stood saying, I'm sorry, I'm going to be aggressive, then I'm going to be aggressive. But usually I do not make a passive aggressive comment, which I am so sorry. It sounds like that was a passive aggressive comment. Oops. I am sorry. <laughs> that was a passive aggressive comment. It is. I am sorry. I apologize for that. But there's so many messages that I received. Like, starting from, like, how much is that? Seriously? Like, dude, how much is that? Am I? I didn't even say it was for sale. Like, how do they assume that everything is for sale? Which is sometimes true. I sell a lot of stuff, but. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Manon. Manon, thank you so much for introducing yourself. So that's something I would like to kind of share in this live stream. Live streaming is a little different because, you know, it's anonymous. I am sharing who I am. Oh my god, I'm sweating so much. Whew. That, <laughs> that was passive aggressive, I know. <laughs> wow. That was passive. Yes, yes. Come to think of that. That was bad. I did not mean that. I did not mean that. But when I'm smiling like this, you'll be... You're perfectly fine. I, oh my god, I, I was thinking somebody else, completely somebody else, which pissed me off. So, it was email. It was email. <laughs> you know, it's anonymous. I'm not going to say her name. I'm not going to say anything. But there was an email saying that I have a question. Can you call me? What? Who do you think I am? I'm... That was so bad. Like, I'm... Like, she was... She, she didn't even say... I think it's she. Because the, her email just had something... Uh, you know, female name included. But that was from the Hotmail account saying... I'm in the meeting of blah 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 stitching. I have a question about Sashiko. Call me. Why? Why do I have to call you? Why? It was so... It's, we live in a bizarre, strange society. Anyway, so... <laughs> whew, whew, I'm so... It's getting so hot. So your question is very much appreciated. I, I really appreciate your question. So... Don't worry about it. If it's not the question I would like to answer, I will just say that. Like, for example, I do not answer the technical question, to be fair, with everybody who support me for the workshops or, you know, there are people who support me in terms of finance. Like, taking the workshop is one way to support me, so I want to be fair to everybody who actually pay for that. So I will not teach any sashiko techniques over the live streaming instead I kind of direct you to go to the YouTube videos there are a lot of free information there that you can learn sashiko stitching but besides those technical questions to be fair with everybody else I am happy to answer most of the question um, I do have a patreon page where I share those stories as the writing as the article but at the same time live streaming is a good way to share to practice my communication, my like, you know, summarize what I think like. Ah! Summarize what I have in my brain. So there are a lot of things that you can do without, <laughs> not without supporting me, like, you know, without making, without spending some money. I, you know, Instagram is one way, one, another <sighs> media that I do for free. Oh my gosh, that was bad. Please rewind it. <laughs> Please rewind what I said. If you're watching this as the archive story. God, that was I have to show my wife. I have to show this to my wife. She sometimes accuses me for being so passive aggressive. And my answer is, no, I'm not that passive aggressive. She sometimes says, how can you be so passive aggressive? Passive aggressive? I'm not passive aggressive. But listen to myself. Listen to myself. <laughs> Whew. 
he, like now, this, this much, I don't remember anything. This much stitching, I completely don't remember what I did. My mind is not here. Yet, we can make sashiko stitching. In fact, this fabric is still a little damp because of my sweating. That is a very... I, well, I have to be careful. I'm very much learning. I'm very much... Th that's what I meant by I'm not an easy person to deal with. I don't mean to make an enemy, but I sometimes do without knowing it. And that's a very not good thing. <laughs> Some people tell me that I'm honest. That's why it happens. I really thank for those who takes me like that. But sometimes, you know, if I don't have to make an enemy, I don't want to make an enemy. So I hope I can. I'm communicating that enough. Whew. All right. So my my I'm sorry. The long story short, the questions are welcome. <laughs> although, although I said some question pissed me off. Um, just <laughs> wow, double standard, double standard. That's not a good thing. That's a very double standard. I am welcoming a question, but some question might make me upset. Well, 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 please listen the between the lines. I think I'm communicating well to provide the between the line comment. Whew. You won't be my enemy. I like. Thank you so much. I am so bad at hiding myself. I am so bad at lying. You know why? I keep saying this in Japanese live stream, but I am very, I don't really lie. I don't want to lie because there's only one reason. When I speak in English, it is almost important, impossible. It is almost impossible to remember the lie I make. Does it, does it make sense? If I fake myself, if I lie, if I make a lie, I have to make, I have to remember that. I have to remember those lies and fake until I die, until I decided to be honest. It is impossible to do it in my second language. So I just decided to not to do it. Like especially I think thanks to everybody, I got like about fifteen thousand followers. It is almost impossible to keep track of what I say. Like what I reply, like there are a lot of things I reply, and it is almost important, not important, it, it is almost, not almost, it is absolutely impossible to remember everything I say. So if I make a one fake, one lie, I have to remember that. To whom, to what, to what. Uh, I cannot do it. So I kind of decided, like a few years ago, I decided to be completely honest. I won't be. How can I say? I will not make a sweet talk, which I used to do. And <laughs> the same times I will not make any like, <laughs> not even like a like, lie is kind of li not a lie. A white lie. Sometimes I make a white. Sometimes I made a white lie in the past, but as of now, for the Instagram, it is also impossible to do it. So I hope it makes sense. <sighs> I don't really remember what I'm stitching today. Oh, it's, it's a good thing. It's the first li English live streaming that I'm kind of feeling very natural, which is great. Which is great. Think about it. Like I do the live streaming for three years in Japanese, twice a week for, let's say, at least one hour. I don't remember everything I say. Like I literally don't. I don't. I don't plan. I, there's no script. There's no plans. Just I speak out of my mind. So the only things I can keep going is to be honest. So that's a that's a very core perspective of what I'm doing now. 
so I'm sorry if I offend you, I'm sorry that I make some mistakes, but at the same time, please try to read the between lines, that'd be really, really helpful for me to keep going. <sighs> Last 15 minutes, I don't remember anything. Ay, ay. Ay, ay. Well, that means I was actually lying a lot when I was younger. When I, uh, I, I've done that, and that was so difficult, and I'm not gonna do it anymore. Okay, this much thread left, so I'll be go off soon. Thank you so much for watching the Sashiko live streaming in English. I think this was a great success. I think this was a great success, and I will come back. I think I can do this live streaming as um, uh, as long as I have a topic to talk about. Today's topic was the animism and sashiko stitching. I'll come back with some topics, and if you have any topics you want to listen, I think that's a, another way, another great way to comment me or give me a feedback. What you want to hear about my blah, 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 what topic you wanna you want me to talk about. But other than that, I think I will just keep posting my feeling, my writing every day on the Instagram. And I hope to see you sometime soon. Well, I'll be coming back on t well, uh, Friday at 9 o'clock Eastern Time AM. 9 AM Eastern Time, but that's probably, that's most likely going to be Japanese one, so... The more people request the live streaming, the more I will offer. That's how I like to make it happen. So please keep me updated what you want. And I hope you have a great day, great week. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Oh, I want to show you the result. Just let me, let me out. I'll zoom up. I'll zoom up the pants and then that's it. Oh. Still sweating. I hope you can see this. I'll zoom up. Zoom up, up, up. I don't know what I'm gonna do this side. I, I did it like a few years ago. A few years ago? No, last year. And I'm doing this side right now, and I'm, I have to add this line to complete the pattern. But let's see. Let's see how it's gonna be. Okay? I love this pattern. Okay, have a nice day. Bye-bye. How do I end?